Welcome, my viewers, to part two of my Charlie and the Chocolate Factory playthrough. Let's begin the first part of the Chocolate Room, in which Charlie must save Augustus and get him unstuck from the pipe. Uh, but, but before I begin, you can clearly see right here that the time for the free uh, files that I have, they all say March 3rd, 2000, and the time is all the same, 12.06. Uh, for some odd reason, there seems to be a problem with the clock function in my PlayStation 2. Like, for some reason, it'll no longer save the current date. It'll just keep resetting back to March 3rd. And, well, I just don't know what the problem is. Nor nor do I have any clue how to fix that, but it, it's not really a big issue. Let's continue on. So just like in the movie, Augustus Gloop, the great big greedy nincompoop had just gotten himself into a pretty chocolatey predicament. My Oompa Loompas will help you remove that greedy boy from my chocolate. Quickly now! Oompa Loompas are the best workers a cocoa bean can buy, but nearly impossible to keep track of. Which reminds me, you'll need two Oompa Loompas to help you, so try searching the meadow for them. Okay, so I think it was pretty obvious who has to do everything in this game. And of course it would be Charlie, even uh, though this is Willy Wonka's Oompa factory. Loompa. Oh, don't worry, they are friendly. Have him follow you and try to find another one. So the first thing you gotta do is, well, as Willy already mentioned, you must find two Oompa Loompas. Come on. You just gotta use the direction good pad candy to... Starts with good ingredients. Have you found any for me? Uh, right there, it's telling you that there are candy ingredients that, when all of them are collected in each level, you increase your maximum health and candy power. I'll, I'll get, I'll talk more about that later. I'm gonna look for that other Oompa Loompa now. If you ever need help, Charlie, don't hesitate to ask your old Grandpa Joe. It's been a while, but I still remember a few things about this place. Yeah, that's right, you can hit the R2 button to get a hint from Grandpa Joe, but I played through this game twice already, and I may, I may not need his help or anything here. Okay, where could that other Oompa Loompa be? One thing, one good thing, or one cool thing I have to say about this game is that uh, a majority of the actors from the movie have reprised their roles in this game. Like, I can't have oh. these pipes clogged forever. If the portly boy can't free himself, we have no other choice. We'll have to blow him out. Hurry now, to the bellows! Okay, I was saying that most of the characters in the game have the same actors, or, or are voiced by the same actors as in the movie, including Freddie Highmore, David Kelly, Anna Sophia Robb, Jordan Fry. Unfortunately, though, the only actor from the movie who didn't reprise his role in the game is Johnny Depp, the guy who played Willy Wonka. And I don't understand why. If they got every other actor to reprise their roles in this the game, why not Johnny Depp? Be able to dislodge him from the pipe with these. I'm sure it's perfectly safe, though we won't know for certain until they try it. Some people may say that Johnny Depp was busy playing Adrian? Captain Jack Sparrow in the next Pirates of the Caribbean movie, but if not, then I just really don't know. Thankfully though, Willy Wonka's alternate voice actor is a good Johnny Depp impersonator. Marvelous! My chocolate shouldn't taste as good to you. You look exhausted. Try some Wonka Bite. It's full of energy to keep you on your toes. You'll often find it in trees, so you'll need these. Ever this here is where you get your projectile stars. attack. You can suck on them all year, and they'll never get any smaller. And if you throw them, they pack quite a wallop. Did I mention they taste terrific? <laughs> yes, I, I... I would agree with that. I, I used to eat Gobstoppers myself. 
and throwing them is definitely a lot better than trying to chew on them. Otherwise, you break all your little tea, Bob. So all you do is just hit the square button to throw a gobstopper. It's Wonkavite. Uh, wait, no it's not. That's a lollydoodle, which is every bit as delicious. Go ahead, eat it. You'll feel much better. So the lollydoodles, they restore your candy power. And to restore your health, you must find Wonkavites, which are pretty difficult to catch. Although, well, as soon as I find a Wonkavite, you'll see what they're like. What you gotta do next is to just keep throwing gobstoppers at the plants until you do find the Wonka Bite, and you gotta keep collecting them to restore Charlie's health. And then you can advance. You can also hold down square to make a targeting reticle appear, so you can aim at things easier. It's Wonka Bite, full of energy, which makes it hard to catch. It's quite refreshing if you're running out of steam. You can use a gobstopper to stun it, or have my Oompa Loompas catch some for you. Huh? And get, getting an Oompa Loompa to chase after it is a lot better than chasing after it yourself. All you gotta do is make sure you you gotta face the Wonka Bite, and then hit up on the... Okay, well, now I just found the second one. And I was trying to get that targeting reticle to go away. But, but all you have to do is just face the Wonka Bite and hit up on the D-pad to order an Oompa Loompa to chase after it. They'll stun it and then bring you it over got to you. One. Aren't they wonderful? A growing boy needs a lot of Wonka Bite to stay healthy. Otherwise, you'd stop growing. You might even shrink. And you might be mistaken for an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> Silly. Oh, Willy. I'll take that other Wonka Bite. And there are other kinds of Oompa Loompas you can run into in this game. The ones that I have right now are just the regular kinds. There are also, like... There are Oompa Loompas that can cut cut down plants, and there are also welders and electricians. You'll find those later on in the game. Ha, two more Wonka Bites. Can you do it? The Oompa Loompas can also pick up the other power-ups you find. Like the candy ingredients. There's the other one. You make it work. Unless maybe. Oh, my gobstopper went right through that one. I tried to stun it myself. Hey, you, you're supposed to be following me. And I don't know where that other Wonka Bite went, but now who cares? I'll just find another one. Wait, I hear one. There you are. Can you do it? Get him, my little friends. Unless maybe Can I stun it myself this time? Oh, Splendid I did work. it. But I'm afraid Augustus isn't out of the plumbing yet. He's gumming up the jelly bean stock room. He must be stopped. Uh, unstopped? Uh, do I need to? No, n not through that door. This may be the end of the first section of Chapter 1. I mean, Chapter 2. We already saw that Chapter 1 was just a cutscene, and no real gameplay in it. And the part where you chase after the dollar was really just, a uh, an introduction mission or something like that. You need to go back down here, and this is the door you must go through. After... Uh, this is where you clear the first area, and then the game automatically saves. Oh, it's taking forever. Why must it do that? That's right, let's move on now. And don't trick me into thinking the game froze or anything.
How can one child, even such a large one, cause so many problems? I never caused problems when I was a child. I waited till I was a grown-up. Look what he's doing to my jelly bean stock. It's wilting. Oh boy, we better save that beanstalk at once. Unfortunately, I lost the other Oompa Loompas from the last section, but you'll Not find new ones here. Not all are alike, you know. Harvesters, for example, are perfect for gathering candy from even the tallest branches. So here's where you find your first harvest Harvester Oompa right Loompa. Oh, this way? I, I meant to pick follow, not work. This way? You'll get two of them right off the bat. I don't need help from Joe, I know what I'm doing here. Oh, here's the third one. Oh, that's right, I need to get a harvester to work on this tree. Excellent! A jelly bean stock candy. These are quite delicious and useful, too. They might even help get that pest out of my plumbing. This isn't your ordinary candy store jelly bean, you know. Apparently not. It's a jelly bean stock candy. A single bean can sprout into a jelly bean stock. They're very clingy at first, curling about the unwary like a little ball of vines. And they roll quite nicely, too. Now, this is the first, well, I guess you can call it a, a candy gadget or something like that. The jelly beanstalk candy? They're for turning... A generator. It makes Wonka bots, but only when my Oompa Loompas need them. And never more than they need, unless they need more. Okay, so before you can use the jelly beanstalk candy, you first need to get a Wonka bot to appear. You just get one of the Oompa Loompas to operate this generator. Oh yeah, and you also hold R1 to go for your... Oh, they're called Candy Power. Right, so... You just go... Hold down R1 to go for your selection of Candy Power. And you hit Circle to use it. There's a Wonka bot. You just gotta throw a Jelly Beanstalk Candy and wait for it to step into this, which will turn it into a Vine Ball. Oh, uh, you just gotta hit Triangle to pick it up. Now what you need to do is use the Vine Balls to jam these right here. Of course, uh, oh wait, I forgot, you also need to get one of the Oompa to get this to work, and then you can jam them. Oh, what? Why, why did my vine ball just roll over there by itself like that? Okay, it worked for this one. That's one jammed now. But now I gotta keep turning more Wonka bots into vine balls. Oh, come on. It's right there. There you go. Let's jam the next pipe, or whatever those are called. You gotta jam even more of these as you go on, and the farther you go, the more annoying it gets. Let's see if I can jam it from this... no, not from this spot. Come back here. There he goes. My jelly bean stock is starting to look a little better now. Well, only that part of the bean stock is restored anyway. Now you can climb the beanstalk until you reach the next part of, or the next set of pipes that you gotta jam. Oh, and also, as I mentioned before, you collect candy ingredients to increase your maximum health and candy power. Although, most people who play this game, they don't really bother to try to collect all the ingredients in each level. And the reason for that is because Dying in this game has no consequences whatsoever. Whenever you die, you just respawn where you left off, and you don't lose any progress or anything like that, nor do you lose any Oompa Loompas. Can you and you can walk? easily refill your candy power meter 
due to how many power-ups you can find, or how easily it is to find power-ups. Oh my god, this robot's stuck. It should have turned into a vine ball. Oh my god, it was touching that spot, but it didn't work somehow. Thank you. Oh, okay. That right there was a brief glitch. Come on, pick it up. Oh, I forgot to... I forgot to do this part again. Can you make it work? Yeah, it's a work, little buddy. Come on, pick it up. Let's continue jamming. That's one. I don't think these Wonka bots attack you. It's not until later on in the game where they do try to kill Charlie. No. Not, not exactly. Or it didn't get that one jammed. In case you can't tell, there are thorns around the pipe, so you can't exactly get up close to them. Much better. I do believe you've almost done it. So now more of the beanstalk is being restored, which means you can climb up it even further. Over here. Oh, uh oh, and also um, I'm pretty sure the Oompa can't follow you up the beanstalk, so I don't even know why I'm having them follow me again. You just keep finding more Oompa Loompas as you go further up the beanstalk. Oh, crap. I think that right there is an elevator but you can't access it until after you finish the game. After you finish the game, you un uh, After you finish the game, you unlock an elevator Over that'll here. take you back to previous levels of the game. Over here. But that's really just so you can get right all the candy ingredients that you haven't gotten yet. But again, most people don't really bother doing that when playing this game, and guess what? Neither will I. Dying has no consequences, as I already mentioned. Oops, uh, that was a bad throw. You can hold down circle to have Charlie stand still so you can aim the candy power. Oh, it didn't work again. Come on. Why isn't it working? Oh, there you go. If that robot finally decided to move, Oh no, come back here. I need this fine ball. So here's where jamming these pipes start getting even more annoying. I should have got that one. Okay, that's one. You got two more here. Stupid robot. You just had to fall for my trap. I think you can already tell how you're supposed to get the vine balls into that pipe right there. But of course, you always gotta make sure you're in the right spot. This could take a while, though, because this is where it starts getting annoying. My god. Get in there, or don't. Jesus. Okay, finally got number two jammed. That's right, stop moving. Oh, come on, it still didn't get in there. Now let's just get the third, the third vine ball in there. Ooh. 
Come on. Thank you. But it's not over yet, apparently. I now must climb even further up the beanstalk. I do assume it's... Oh, no, wait. Am I going the right way? No, I'm not. I'm supposed to climb up this part right here. Don't, don't you dare slip off, Charlie. The platforming in this game, it's not exactly all that good, but it's not too annoying either. Can you do it? Uh, okay, so that one works the generator. Right there. While this one works whatever this thing is. And now this time, all three of the pipes are facing the other way. Who knows how long this will take. And this robot just won't hold still. There it goes. My god, it didn't, didn't go into any of them. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, that one's stuck. Unless... Oh, oh, well. Okay, so you can throw a gobstopper at it to get it unstuck. Oh, oh well. I finally got, into, got it into one pipe. wonder if I can just keep hitting it with the gobstopper until it goes into another pipe. Okay, got number two clogged. And I swear, I never even done this. I never done this, this the first few times I played this game. I just, I had no idea you can hit the blind ball with the gobstopper. I, I completely only just learned that right now. Come on. Yes. Yippee! Brilliant. And my jelly bean stock is coming back to life. But we mustn't dawdle. By now, the blockage has probably reached the Wriggle Sweets room. Hurry, no telling what the damage could be. Okay, so now I'm through with this section. Although I still gotta keep doing some platforming of this bean stock. There's the exit right there. Oh yes, and after completing this room, you get a button for the Great Glass Elevator. But again, you don't access that elevator until you finish the game. Not only, do, not only does the loading, well, sometimes take forever, but apparently so does the saving. As Charlie worked at this lodging and dressed his group from the factory plumbing, Mike TV was giving Mr. Wonka an earful on the... Uh, you know what? Uh, since Chapter 2 is over now, I might as well just skip the cutscene and wait until the next part to actually show it. And to continue on. And, and I, uh, I, I don't even remember uh, Chapter 3 starting right here, but that's fine. Come on, it's fully loaded. There we go. Okay, so thank you for watching part two of my playthrough. I'll see you all later in part three, where I officially save Augustus to finally get him unstuck from the pipe. Bye, everyone.